Welcome to another edition of LightPoint Labs. This is John Taylor, along with Brian Petersell and Customer Service. Brian will be going over the feature sets of the new Highbridge All-Weather Wireless Bridge. The Highbridge Wireless Bridge combines the best of an optical high-capacity link and an RF for backup. And now here's Brian to go over the feature sets of the new Highbridge SXR from LightPoint. Thanks, John. So as John mentioned, what we have today is the Highbridge, let's call it the SX, and in this case it's the SXR. We do have it in two variations, and I'll talk about them both here today, but specifically we're going to talk about the SXR. So, what the SXR is, is an Airlite G product with a built-in radio. I've turned the unit to the side to be able to show you what the radio looks like as well, as well as the bracket that comes with it to attach the radio. You can take a look from the front, also see what it looks like. Turning the unit back around, we'll talk about the actual installation. Um, I'll also kind of tilt it slightly this way to show you that we do have a cable that runs from the bottom of the unit into the radio. This is designed to be a weatherproof solution. Now, the difference is in the SX, standard SX product, there is no radio. You will not receive these items here. You will just receive an open connector for you to connect your own radio or the radio of your choosing. We understand that some people have a radio preference based on their current network, and we want to make it flexible for you to be able to choose the radio you wish. Or, if you do want a fully integrated solution, we have it available. So with this product, you need to take the rear off, and it does require, just like the Airlite G, two cables. We have a PoE cable, which plugs into the PoE management port. You'll also notice all the lights come on, if you can see down here you'll also see that the radio LED is illuminated. You also will need, and this is important, we do pre-install an RJ45 SFP. It's important to understand that the way this product is designed is it needs to be connected on the data side to a 1000 megabit per second solution. Whether it's a switch or a router, doesn't matter as long as it has a copper 1000 megabit or 1 gigabit per second connection. That would then plug into the SFP. While this is booting up, I would like to point out a couple other features to you. Um, one is if you, for some reason, prefer instead of power over Ethernet to run 48 volt, we do have a direct 48 volt option for you we sell a power supply that does come with a 48 volt out. Additionally, if you do opt to purchase just a standard SX product and supply your own radio, the way this unit is developed is it does provide 48 volt out DC power over ethernet. If the radio you choose uses some alternate type of powering scheme, you can actually turn off the powering aspect of the PoE and that will allow you to then continue to have the data pass but you will need to provide power to your unit up to you how you wish to do it. In the time I've been talking the unit has gone through its boot up sequence it is now ready to go. One last thing I did want to show you and it's, it's kind of a glaring item here is this bridging cable. What this bridging cable does is it actually allows the data when it does fail over to pass through here through the inside of the unit and out through here. This is the critical component to get the failover to operate. Without this cable the failover will not function. And as John mentioned the whole design around this product is around an all-weather option. So you have gigabit, full duplex gigabit Ethernet, um, as your primary and main method of communication. Should something happen weather related where the, the unit cannot communicate over the optical link, there is a backup to the RF. So 
This will provide you with all weather communications and it does have a gigabit ethernet input. Well there you are. Now you have a Highbridge SXR ready to go. Thank you for watching and we'll see you for our next lab.